Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... In the, like, hour and a half I was there, I took four shots of Jaeger and had three beers. I gotta perform surgery tonight, baby. Woo! Fuck you, I'm peeling one off for my homie Blake. Let's go! All right. <laughs> pew, pew, I'm red pew, 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 pew. Oh. What up? Oh, uh, we're back. Dude. Uh, Toasty. Uh, nothing gets me juice like doing ads before the pod. Uh. Oh, yeah. We were ripping off a few ads. And man, yeah, you, 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 you and people, you're going to love it, TI Nation. It was, it was fun watching you guys just kind of in your element doing mm. ads, just yeah. p- pitching stuff. And pitching products that we know and love, like yeah. tell them, tell them, <laughs> Zoa Energy, baby. I'm still gonna send it. Zo, no, he didn't. Yeah, baby. Oh man. Actually, I am a little zipped up from this. I like it, you know. And it's yeah. I'm a fit. We call Adam the Zoa Constrictor. This guy, he'll squeeze one right down throat. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. Look at this. Yes, points. <laughs> you don't have DTs. What is Dude, that? I'm not. I'm not trembling. Usually, <laughs> you get the the energy drink shakes. You know, mm-hmm. when you're, you're too uh, jacked up. Well, that's because you're mixing it with alcohol and other things. But what's going on? No, look at that, Adam. Yeah, you look like a cool like magician doing that. As, and for viewers just listening, he's holding his hand out like a fucking sorcerer, like a warlock or something. Yeah, man. That's. Have you guys ever? You you know how like uh, you ever saw a woman in here? <laughs> no, I Hold no, up. like uh. Like a surgeon. Remember how, I, I don't know, maybe back in the day they used robots to cut people open, or maybe they are still, like, slicing people open with scalpels. Sorry. Expand, so, sorry. Expand on that a little bit. What do you think robots are doing? Back back in the day they used robots? No, I'm saying maybe now they use robots, but back in the day oh. you just had to have a steady hand. And if you were right. a really uh, smart doctor, sure. but then in the moment you couldn't do it you would you'd get a little nervous and you'd yeah. start to it's science do a little jiggle about right not with the zoa yeah, yeah. go ahead sorry yeah <laughs> yeah with this if they had zoa energy so you're saying <laughs> sorry okay i'm sorry I, I wasn't sure if that's where you're going but <laughs> so you're saying that if dang. in the, in the 194 <laughs> dang you beat me you beat me to it durst dang no i'm sorry is that where you were going, or did you- I was where I was going? I was trying to loop back to Zoa, but I'm sorry. You're saying Fuck. when, like, back in like the Wild West, when they were pulling like bullets out of people's legs and shit, you yeah. you you wish they had a Zoa. They use Zoa. They use they took Zoa. <laughs> Not even it could even be the 50s, dude. It could just be like oh, sure. you know. I wish we had Zoa in the 50s. <laughs> uh, that's the movie. That's the movie. <laughs> Zoa in the 50s be like this. Uh, <laughs> we invented time machine. Just to get uh, Zoa to all of our <laughs> our like ex presidents and just we save hey, the world one Zoa at a time. And that ad campaign is free of charge. Well, not really. And Zoa is Coca Cola. Co- you know, it's it's sort of our beverage, our nation's beverage. Can you imagine if Coca Zoa was what? If, oh my God! <laughs> if we all just ran around for all these decades saying, "Dude, can I and can I get a diet Coca Zoa?" Because it's as arbitrarily <laughs> weird as Coca Cola. Right. Yeah. 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 It would have. It would have flown. Yeah. That the yeah. world would be a better place. There would be peace yeah. on earth if it yeah. was Coca Zoa. Do you guys think going back to this surgeon uh, with the steady hand? <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. I'd love to. Do we think that we all could be a surgeon? Like uh, obviously we're too dumb. I get mm, that. Yeah. <laughs> I do understand. <laughs> Yeah, I do okay. understand that we don't have the brain power to be a surgeon. Right. Sure. Uh, so where's the <laughs> Where's the skin at? But do you <laughs> look do at you the titties could, on this one? <laughs> whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> do you think you could have a steady hand and 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 slice someone up? Um, you know? huh. sure. Yeah. Well, so you're saying uh, no no smarts is required. You're just saying, am I physically capable of being? The person with the scalpel. Is this like Ratatouille situation? Like yeah. the mouse or whatever it was can tell you what you're doing, but you're the steady hand? See, I wish that it was a Ratatouille situation, uh-huh. but it's it's okay. literally you just let, let's say we're on the run. We just okay. robbed a bank. One, okay. I, Blake took a bullet. Sure. Okay. Durs, right. do you think so? I reached in with my I sterilized my hand. Okay. And mm-hmm. I reached in. I pulled the bullet out. Oh, and then oh. and then it's uh. 
you have to uh oh this kind of fucks up because now you just have to stitch <laughs> suture yeah. like i'm a suture guy now right. well now you just have to stitch i feel like all of us could stitch yeah. each other up but it, yeah i mean that could be a sloppy dog <laughs> okay blake is blake's over there dying being like what if uh i got shot in the dick and he had to suck the bullet out <laughs> Yeah, so, man, that would be kind of weird. Wait, what? He's got that one in the chamber. <laughs> All right, so maybe, maybe, maybe we're on it. That, that that story sucked. What, what if we're yeah. like on an island and mm-hmm. Blake's uh, pancreas is exploding and we okay. have to get his pancreas out and we're mm-hmm. alone? He's gonna die if we uh-huh. don't cut him open and rip out his. Right, but is there like an instruction manual or are we winging yeah. it? Yeah, I feel like maybe the only there's got to be an instruction manual. That's what I meant by the ratatouille. We're like it's instructing, but we're doing the actual. Uh, physical work. No, I got it. I got it. It's yeah. all three of us on an island. There's a fourth person. The fourth person is a surgeon, and they can tell you everywhere to cut. He just his l- arms were blown off. He he just lost his arms were broken. Yeah, he just lost his arms. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So he trying to pick up Blake's humongous <laughs> dick. <laughs> yeah, bro. He tried to yeah. freaking wheelbarrow my cock. <laughs> Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't give you yeah. a heads up about the <laughs> dick. My hands. <laughs> you broke my hands. <laughs> I know that's what you were I know that's what you were thinking. Stupid. Sorry. I keep I keep beating everyone to their own punchlines. <laughs> you today. know my brand of comedy, sir, and that's why I like you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's kind of on the side telling you, okay, yep. oh, just reach over a little to right. the right. Right under the where where was I hurt? Your pancreas. Mm. Where is the pancreas on the mm-hmm. body? I like these movies, by the way, where this is the scenario. Mm-hmm. Um, or even like Last Crusade where like the old dude's out there and he, he's, he knows he's taught him everything he needs to know to get through to the, to the chalice, to the cup. Okay. Mm-hmm. But he's like, Jehovah starts with an eye <laughs> or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> what? What movie? What movie is this? Last Crusade. Oh, you got to say Indiana oh. Jones. I thought you were talking about some Christian movie, dude. It I is. Just, it kind of is. Yeah, you know how Dirt is always watching. Well, I mean, like that one that uh the dude from um pa- Passion of the Christ made. Oh yeah, Cavazel. Yeah, I thought it was a Cavazel joint. He sort of he sort dude. of cornered the market on uh Christian movies, you know, yeah. and because didn't he? He just yeah, he's he's pretty good at it. He just yeah. did the one where they're like. Uh, you know, don't kidnap, don't sell children into slavery right. movie. Yeah, that, right. Yeah. yeah, which, hey, we're all on board for. I don't know why yeah. that had to be like a Christian. I got to see it. I want to see it. a Christian movie. Like people are like, oh, it's a Christian movie. I'm like, well, every I think everyone universally Christian or not is like, hey, man, no, that's not kidnap kids. <laughs> but I think and I do not know because I haven't seen this. I think they added like a thing to it that was like Hollywood wouldn't make this movie. So we had to. Right. Mm. Uh, I, and I don't know that, but I heard there is like a disclaimer at the beginning or the end. But I, I want to see it. I heard it's good. They're like, it's P, everyone I know who's seen it is like, it'll fuck you up. And I'm like, dude, I love that. That's cool. We should do that uh, on the Workaholics movie, too. <laughs> what is the name? Well, for sure, because they're going to tug on your heartstrings because it's just like kidnapping a bunch of kids. And you're like, well, mm-hmm. don't. It's just you yelling at your TV. Stop yeah. doing that. No. Yeah. Adam, are you okay down there? Don't. <laughs> right. Keep the kid, let the kids play. Don't put them in the van. Stop. Adam, you're screaming and not opening your mouth all the way. Are you okay? <laughs> Don't do that. No. Stop. Stop it, dude. Don't stop. Yeah, let's do a, should we do a watch party on Amazon? <laughs> what is it? What is the name of that movie? Angels in the Outfield or something. No, I don't think that's it. It's not that, but it has. No, it's not that. <laughs> With uh, Danny Glover? I think it's it's called like... Um, it's called Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. But just a heads up. Is it not Basement Babies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Anna's giving okay. us... A- <laughs> the guy who inspired Sound of Freedom, the movie, was sued by five women alleging sexual assault. Well, okay. were they of age? <laughs> That's the question. Were they of age? Because that's not what this movie's about. So it's right. about the protecting of, uh, you know, little, right. little kids. Right. Maybe he's a creep besides that, but that's not what the movie's about, you know? Huh. Yeah, I don't think halfway through the movie it, it U-turns and, and goes down this road. <laughs> What's cool is I've never, like, live, like, while we're doing this, recognized exactly what part are, is going to be edited out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, no, we got to keep that part. <laughs> That's good. That. Man, I do love movies, though. <laughs> Clean break. Clean break. What else is out there? <laughs> Angels in the Outfield. <laughs> I love Angels in the Outfield. Uh Maybe that's how we get uh, the Workaholics movie made is we just call it a Christian movie and keep oh. saying like Hollywood wouldn't make it. Hollywood would <laughs> not make Dude, it. And it's maybe true. it's Christian. Yeah. I do feel like it was kind of Christian too, you know? Um, yeah, it was. But they'll, you know, I'd love to release the draft because I would love to s- for people to read. Yeah, well, put. I feel like release the us- draft is a cool way to say you just farted too. Re- release the draft. Yeah, I'm <laughs> releasing the draft. I just released the draft. Go ahead. Uh, I would say that we're probably, you know, we could say any movie we do is a Christian movie, even though That's none true. of us are very religious. I feel like sure. we're closest to Christianity. Like yeah. we have been to Christian churches the most out of the other churches. That's, yeah, unless we're talking churches chicken, I've been there a yeah. few times. So, yeah, so mm-hmm. any movie I've ever done, it's a it's a Christian flick. So come come out. Come Adam, out. Adam, your uh, your star meter just went <laughs> da doink. <laughs> just come come on, come on out. I do like seeing these people who are leaning into it just to see what happens and then like it kind of takes off for them yeah. and then they just go full bore. Yeah. yeah. That's how it, steam. That's how it happens. Got to take you. And what if I got rebaptized or something? I will go to that if I'm invited. That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Should, are you going to get rebaptized, dude? That'd be sick. I think I think I should. Yeah. Start again. Yeah, you should for sure. Uh huh. Just blow bubbles and little. Blow. You guys have seen the video where the dude's dunking the baby and it just fucking <laughs> slips out of his hands and goes, whoop, whoop, like face first into the bowl. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know if no. I have. No, oh, dude. It's like a priest or whatever, and he's uh baptizing the child. Yeah. yeah. He's dunking the baby into like the little pool, the little, I don't know what you call it. It's like a bird bath, essentially, of holy water. Yeah, the the holy water container. Yeah, they call it the. But it like the baby slips out and just the face goes, you hear it go like, dunk, and it's like. Mm. And he's like, uh, it's okay. God wanted me to do that. Yeah. He this immediately yeah, yeah, exactly. is like, uh, God chose that moment for that to happen. So There are. <laughs> This is a path. This is the child's path. There are no accidents. I'm living in a nightmare. <laughs> Jim Caviezel comes in and snatches the baby away. There are no accidents. I just shit my pants. There are no accidents. <laughs> There's no accidents. I do like that actor, though. He was good in that uh, Denzel Washington movie where, like, everything took place four days ago. What the fuck was that called? Deja Vu? Oh. I don't I don't really know Jim Caviezel. I mean, he looks... Like a like, he should be in movies. He's, he has like a cool look. Yeah, yeah, he's hot. hot as hell. Yeah, he's definitely got a good look. Uh, he's hot. Dude. You know? and, and when he yeah. was Jesus in the in the Jesus movie, Passion of the yeah. Christ, you're like mm-hmm. yeah, good casting, dude. Because yeah. he's a sexy. Yeah, he had he had my Christian mingling. People people okay. wanted a sexy, a uh, sexy Jesus, you mm-hmm. know, and they got one. Yeah, they, they got did. one with that guy. They sure did. What was the casting process? Who else was up for it? God, I wonder who was who Drew else was Carey. up for it and like <laughs> is stoked they didn't get it. Yeah. I hope uh Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who now owns Zoa Energy Drink, uh, I hope he was up for it. I hope that was like a conversation where like, well, the rock he is reading right now. Who else was up for it? It had because that's a big movie. That's a big casting call, but are you like and it was Mel Gibson, like at the peak of Mel Gibson's powers, right? He had yes. gone on yeah. any sort of like crazy rants at this point. He was just right. yeah. wildly he was successful. Be- yeah. He was beloved. Blake, are you sort of mad? Are you kind of bummed that you never got that call and weren't uh, like kind of on the short list there? <laughs> me? Is this a Blake, Blake, Blake question? Yeah, Blake. You're asking me if yeah. I'm mad that I wasn't, wasn't Jesus for Passion mm. of the Christ? Or at least... In the conversation, I feel like how old? Because if it was if it were to happen right now, right, I would I would like to see. And what year did that movie come out, producers? I feel like it came out when we were in like high school, right? Oh, it's that old. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Yeah, because they. I remember my school. Like, I think they said it was okay. Well, that's the reason why then. Like, you could skip a day of school to go see it or some shit. (sighs) At your public school. I think so. Unless I'm thinking of like um, 
Huh. Maybe Braveheart did that. This is why I'm going to homeschool all my children. Well, it came out, Blake. Hey, Blake, you're lying, dude. <laughs> Maybe it was Braveheart. It was 2004. Yeah, it was 2004. Okay. And we weren't in high school then, so... You're thinking of Schindler's List. Schindler's List, you could go to... Well, okay, so BJ's Pizza, when I was delivering pizzas, they're like, yo, you can take a day and go see that movie. You don't have to work today. Uh, you know what? Our produ- Now our producers are trying to say Jim Caviezel is a big QAnon guy. We're talking acting chops. We're talking yeah. hotness. <laughs> yeah, we're talking Allegedly. hotness. And maybe he is a QAnon guy, and, and he does believe that liberal elites drink the blood of infants, so... You know, okay. some probably do. Is that how he got his abs or did he get it from Zoa Energy Drink? <laughs> have you guys ever um, had anyone? I did have a friend. <laughs> By the way, this is the first episode <laughs> that we're like fully on Zoa train. And they're like, if we could just talk less about uh, Jim Caviezel. <laughs> I did have uh, I did have one of my friends like during the pandemic when it, people were like crawling down QAnon holes and like yes. you know just g- kind of losing Kyle. their minds a little bit yeah Kyle <laughs> Kyle for sure I yeah, did have a friends. friend tell me she was like I know that you don't I know that you're one of the good ones but mm-hmm. you've probably been at parties where people are drinking baby blood and I'm like freaking see ya right. what dude <laughs> like that yeah. is first of all I've never been to that because they say liberal elites i've never been to a party where it's Dude, that elite you they go I mean? off they like go i off. would yeah because you know uh, like a baby blood drinking party that is probably the most elite party that you could go to and tell you what i'm not invited i'm not invited what do you mean? how are we, you not invited come on how am so, i not invited <laughs> we're talking like the oscars like the the part mm-hmm. after party of the oscars is probably blood fountains i no 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 that's basic no, that's basic. Oh, that's basic shit. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah it's basic. Okay. Yeah. This is this is even more so than that. Like people that yeah. are like, oh, cute. You you want a little trophy? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I own the Indian Ocean. Or, right. Or right. whatever. You know, like right. those those people. Like I don't right. know. The that's I mean, that's that does uh, yeah. It just sounds like a good time. <laughs> um, who is the most like likely out of all the biggest stars? Mm-hmm. Who's who are you thinking is even thinking about drinking baby's blood? Who who? Uh, see, like, I don't know. See, that's the thing about that. What does it do for you? Oh, dude, it's it hits because everybody has everybody has kids, or you know, <laughs> yeah. everybody has kids. So you're like, who is looking at a blood. baby going like, I want to drink that baby blood. <laughs> The cause think, of diarrhea. I think it's a, a very small amount of people. Uh, yeah. it, even if it probably doesn't even happen is what is kind of what I'm thinking. I feel like even the people you think that would do it, you know, your your Gary Buseys, they're not invited <laughs> to the party. Yeah, they're not invited. <laughs> well, well, Gary come Busey's on. like, come and, on. and I'm not. That's not. <laughs> str- I'm not throwing shade. I want a little baby hamburger. hamburger. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not throwing shade on like Gary Busey, but like. You know, yeah, he, he, he's unhinged. He seems like a, yeah, the, a wild dog. He's kind of out there. And if someone sure. saw him, they'd be like, well, this look at this guy. Obviously, yeah. he's not doing this. But like, you know, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> but he's kind of I'm not like, who who is this? Who are they thinking that is doing it? It's probably yeah. like, come on, it's more, probably more like a Nicolas Cage. You know, he's like a little weird. He'll try anything mm. once. So now what I don't like about where this discussion is going <laughs> is that for sure he's done it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you have. <laughs> I'm trying to go like it's not possible, and now I'm like it's likely. It's actually kind of likely. Yeah, and now you're like, oh, well, Nick Cage might be the one to. Yeah. Uh, well, t- the one that would out of the four of us is for sure. Alleg- allegedly, our closest. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Is, uh, allegedly, yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is all very alleged. A legend is for sure, Kyle. And Kyle uh, decided. I mean, yeah. is he off? We don't know exactly what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Right. right now. He says that he's working on what we do in the shadows. Mm-hmm. Right. He is in Tor- Toronto. Season six. Season six. The last season. The last mm-hmm. bite. Maybe they could take that and use that. Mm-hmm. The last if bite. They listen. Uh, yeah. Or maybe he's off drinking baby blood. We don't know. We don't right. know what he's doing. There's no way to know. <laughs> this is all. There's no way to tell. But he chose. Very alleged. He chose. Allegedly. Not... Anything's possible. He chose not to do the podcast. And so we don't know what he's doing right now. I guess we did forget to mention that. But yeah. it just kind of felt right. Yeah. You know? 
it does feel natural when he's not here, but yeah. you know, yeah. so yeah. be it. Yeah, it's okay. We got what we got one pot off after the tour, and then yeah, and then we disbanded a little bit. It mm-hmm. happened. And is that how you look at it? You're like getting them. Yeah, hey, it happens. The, the wheels fall off. Getting these pods off. Yeah, I get these pods off, man. Yeah, I like to say I like to snap one off. That's what you, that's what you tell uh, that your girl when you're like, uh, sorry, don't don't come in to this room. Uh, I'm getting get my pod off. Real I'm quick. getting a pod off. Uh, don't <laughs> open the door. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're in the bathroom. I know, I know. Son of a bitch! I thought this thing locked. It's 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 good acoustics in here. Yeah, I'm just getting this pod off. I'm doing it on my phone. Actually, I'm recording it on my iPhone. <laughs> Yeah. I don't I don't need the microphone. <laughs> I, am, <laughs> I am messing with the Zoe energy drink. Though. I think that's this is a, a good Yeah, one. this shit is kind of hitting right now. It is. And what flavor are you crushing right now? Uh, it's a cherry limeade. And mm. the issue with an energy drink that's so delicious and mm-hmm. so uh, smooth is mm-hmm. now I want to have like four of them. Yeah. Hold up. And that's that's when it gets a little tricky. That's when you piss rocks out of your dick like I did one time because of energy drinks. Right. Yeah, I don't think this is going to do that to you because this is a much cleaner energy. with. It's a much cleaner, yeah. I won't say the name that... Without a, that, a crash. That being said, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. I won't say the name. Uh, well, I know. <laughs> you know <laughs> which energy drink I was crushing. We might have to get back on here and go, so yeah, don't drink four uh, yep. consecutive cans. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I will say it's, it's really bailing me out for my... Um, my damp January. It's it it came just in time. So what is damp January? Because you've been drinking a lot. That's where you're still drinking a lot. Yeah. You know, it's a dry January. But if you're trying not to drink, but then yeah, the wet 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 January. Yeah, raining it in. But if like there's uh-huh. a football game on, I'm gonna have a beer. You know. Okay. All right. Yeah. And the name you came up with yeah, is yeah, yeah. damp. And in, and a one beer means a bottle of Jägermeister and twelve beers. <laughs> Right? <laughs> no, no. Six beers is the limit. Twelve would not be wow. damp anymore. That would take be it. That's to the limit. <laughs> well, I don't know. Thank you, God. We went to our buddy Sam Richardson's fortieth birthday party, and yes. uh, I had to leave. I dude, Emmy, Emmy winner, Emmy winner, Sam Richardson. Yes, congrats. A uh, friend of the pod. We love the guy. Uh, but I had to leave because I had like a baby breathing class. You mm. did. Down in Orange County at 9 a.m. Yes. Baby so, eating? I'm sorry. Hollywood what? I didn't. Yeah. Wait. What the heck? Yeah. Baby eating class. Baby eating class? Yeah. Did they teach you how to <laughs> do that out there? Yeah. They taught us. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I had like a Lamaze class, basically. There we go. And by the way, it's like four hours long. It was the longest class. I'm like, yeah, we get it. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's we good. Get, we get it. We get yeah. it. Lamont's but, uh, like a go for a little less. Okay. La, la less. Okay. <laughs> yes, points. Oh. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now the Zoe is hitting. <laughs> but I, in the like hour and a half I was there, I took four shots of Jaeger and had three <laughs> beers. So wait, the Lamaze class at Lamaze? No, no, no. At the San Richardson's <laughs> oh, party shit. the night before. And then at 9 a.m. <laughs> the next morning, I had to go to this class. Oh, the next morning. I thought you said I had to leave early because you were going straight to it. And I was like, sorry, no, I left. Yeah. Damn. I left the birthday party, <laughs> he, dr- had to drive down to Orange County. Yeah. And then did the class in the morning. He came in like, where are these babies at? <laughs> Come uh, on. <laughs> but when I left you, Blake, you were keeping pace with me or maybe I was keeping pace with you. I don't know whose pace we were on, but you were on a good one. Was that that didn't seem that damp to me that seemed pretty wet that's actually why i'm calling it damp january because i've been good every single day except i knew mm. sam was having a 40th and i wasn't mm. gonna not peel one off for my boys four. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a big one yes that's that's right. one. that is yeah. true so i was I, I was keeping pace with the birthday boy you don't think he would have understood he would have been cool <laughs> with it 
<laughs> no. I I don't, man. I think he would have showed me the door, dude. Yeah, of the of the two hundred people there, he expected Blake to Yeah. He was just <laughs> staring at me. I do love the idea of like every year committing to a dry January and just making new friends with birthdays in January and like, well, I gotta peel one like, off hey, yeah, for this 30, guy. He's thirty six. So what am I gonna am I gonna peel be, one off? Come on. Be, dude, he's turning I gotta peel it off. So he's turning thirty six, three six mafia. Come on, this is a big one. <laughs> The fucking mailman's like, hey, how's it going? Good, good. Uh, when is your birthday? When is it? Uh, February. Fuck off. Get out of here. You're Keep done. Moving. Junk You're mail. dead to me. Moving. Good luck with that, you stupid bastard. Yeah. <laughs> FedEx guy. Hey, when's your birthday? Uh, January 12th. Okay, come in here. All right. <laughs> Fuck UPS. Fuck UPS. Hey, right? Am I right? Am I right? What is, uh, what's the Zodiac sign for that? Capricorn? Ooh. Is it a, zo- a Zodiac? Is that is that the right term? Yeah, your horoscope, right? That's they call it Zodiac. <laughs> yeah, bro. What do you As think opposed it was to called? what? Dude, <laughs> I did not know. I, I zo- What's your horoscope sign? Star sign, dude. When the, your horoscope is, or what's your? Uh, I would just say, what's your sign? It's Zodiac. Yeah, yeah, Zodiac. Dude, I'm learning something on this podcast. That's why this is an important <laughs> podcast because I never knew what the word Zodiac meant. I just thought it was like a cool, cool name of movies and stuff. The killer. Hold up. Zodiac killer. That murderer. I was like, yeah. why did they call him the Zodiac killer? That is a good question. Uh, um, they actually mispronounced his name was so <laughs> you're Zach. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't know. I gotta, watch that. Oh, I, gotta, stupid. I gotta watch that movie again. <laughs> oh man. That movie's pretty good. So you're Zach. <laughs> so you're Zach. Zodiac. Right. Okay. I gave you my name. <laughs> so you're Zach and you're the killer. <laughs> so what should we call you? <laughs> Zach. So, so we, they're like, keep him on the line. <laughs> but the guy asking him, his name was keep Zach. goes, what are you going to call me? So, so you're Zach. Zodiac. All right. Works for us. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's got a ring to it. Hey, that sounds cool. Yeah, that'll that'll look good in print. What is it? Because he's spoken or he's like had symbols and stuff like that. The, the, he like, did write in codes, but cryptograms. Right. Anna just wrote. It's never been determined why the killer gave himself that name. But Ooh. the press soon started calling him the Zodiac Killer. So some guy in some press room mm-hmm. in like the Cleveland, uh, you know, post or whatever was just like mm-hmm. San Francisco. Hey. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, we're calling him the Zodiac Killer. And then everybody's like, oh, that's actually a really right. good name. Right. So yeah. one of the most chilling char- oh, characteristics of the Zodiac of Zach, the killer, yeah. <laughs> was a string of letters with cryptograms. <laughs> so you're Zach. <laughs> he sent to newspapers. See, this is. Like, would you guys even be... S- killers need to get back to this. Yeah. See, yeah, killers, I feel like we we haven't had a good serial killer. Creative. Creative yeah. killer. By the way, I would get caught right away. A cryptogram? No. Yeah. Right. Trying to, right. like, make up a language and shit. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to make up a language, but I just say my name. <laughs> I mean, what are you, a cryptozoologist? They're like, all he did was write his name backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Adam Devine. It's, <laughs> Mata. it's Mata. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's Mata N. N- vid. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got to write it out. What is a fun, good, bad clue? I thought that one was pretty good. <laughs> a good, fun, bad clue. It's a fun, good, bad clue. This... Murderer is important, and when he's not working, he's a holic. Is this yeah, actually? It's, yeah. Okay, Wait, we're we're down to four, four and uh, one of them doesn't do the podcast anymore. The only thing pitch perfect about <laughs> this murderer is he's a workaholic, right? And you're like, uh, that's I, I think, I think that's the actor Adam Devine. Yeah. So you're going, you're going damp January. I, I, mm-hmm. I kind of am too. I. I had said in December, like, you know what? I might do a a dry January. But then mm-hmm. what I happened? I realized that I'm I having stop. a child in February. I know. You and are th- so close, dude. And right. Like, in, in a matter of weeks, dude, it could mm-hmm. really happen any time. And they yeah. would just mm-hmm. go, okay, now you now you have a baby. Uh, So I'm like, well, I'm not going to be drinking, like, with a newborn in the house, like, right away. <laughs> Like that first, that first day or two. Uh, right away. Yeah, Blake, sure. hey, Blake, should we tell him? <laughs> Go for it. Bud. Should we tell him? Uh, well, yeah, uh, I mean, honestly, do, are, 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 you guys I'm aren't drunk getting, now. You guys aren't getting drunk when there's like, 
they're a newborn like that first week or two, right? Uh, I feel is like it, February, is it football be... playoffs or? <laughs> yeah, come on. Is it depends if there's a game on. Is Passion of the Christ on or? Well, there is a game. There's the Super Bowl. There's the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. So yeah. do you think you're gonna have a Super Bowl baby? In that case, you've got a. When is a Super Bowl? I might have a Super Bowl baby. I've it's... been known to hut hut hike a few babies by accident, mm-hmm. just in the you know throws of passion. Wasn't that kind of a thing back in the day? Like dads would just be like at the bar while uh, the moms were giving birth in the hospital and then they'd kind of call them over when it was all said and done. Yeah. Yeah. Those those were the good old days. That's when robots used to do surgery. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's, our, our due date is uh, February 15th. And okay. the Super Bowl is Feb. And what hospital are you guys at again? The fe- uh, what, room, what room number? The, uh, the Super Bowl is February 11th. I can oh, truly dude. have a Super Bowl, and then we da, 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 da. we'll have to name him Super Bowl <laughs> Divine. This is the way. What's the name? Cletus. What's the name of the uh, the like little robot? Yeah. Oh, the robot. Yeah, Cletus the fox. Cletus Divine. We were named after a CGI football robot, son. Yep. That would be super sick. Um, didn't somebody in the Super Bowl have a baby on the day of the Super Bowl? It's a boy. That's right. And then he's like. He couldn't do the post game interview because he had to rush off. He was like off. He had to go. Yeah. And the baby's name, I believe, is Champion. Champion. Did they win? I think it I think it was when LA won. I'm making yeah. all this up, but I think it was when LA won and a dude had to peace out. I remember the story, but I I, I don't remember any detail. Classic Adam. And the child's name is Champion. And I just imagine our producers just diving into looking for this fact <laughs> when, and not looking at their at their phones at, at something else. They're saying it was Jason Kelsey. That, that would be the Eagles then. That would be the Eagles and not the Rams. Mm. And also, I don't remember. I Jason just, Kelsey has a, a, a son or a daughter named Champion. That's I don't think that's him. Football player, child champion. If you lost, would you then name your loser? <laughs> Yeah. Van Jefferson. Failure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has a daughter and a son named two sons, Elliot and Wyatt, and a daughter named Bennett. Uh, that yeah, doesn't. The, none of those names are champion, so it's not. No, I think we're seeing Van Van Jefferson, and the child's name is Champ. Champ. Or it's, Who did uh, Van Jefferson play for? I'm guessing the Rams, if that's what you guys were saying. Ram, man, this guy's a car nut. Well, I think we were guessing. I think we were guessing. Yeah, it looks like he was. He does play for the Rams. All right, sick. Wow. Okay, okay. So some, I, I said one thing factual. <laughs> Good job, dude. Yeah, you did say a thing, a factual thing. Fuck. And champ, uh, that's kind of a cool name if you're an athlete. If like yeah. you know, that's your right. thing. You're like, hey, champ. Yeah. I mean, it is a nickname and he will uh imagine if he sucks yeah that's gonna be a bummer Mm -hmm. right like imagine if you grow up and you like lose a lot and your name is champ that's that's gonna come back to bite you i feel right (laughs) yeah a little bit i mean more like chump you know yeah more like chump i feel like if you maybe he doesn't maybe his he's like one of those guys like he's a huge football player imagine he's like married a, a woman who's four foot eleven and right. they have the kid and then right. this kid comes out his no muscles right mm-hmm. he's he's just headgear mm-hmm. like he's really having a tough time mm-hmm. uh and his name is champ he's five foot nothing a hundred and nothing <laughs> yeah right. totally sure he's, okay. he's rudy that yeah. uh gets a movie that about does, him. that yeah. does suck for him yeah so i feel yeah. like maybe you're setting your kid up for a lifetime of failure if you name him champ because you don't know what what where the genetics are going to pull from. You know? So you're think you're saying that people should this is life. They should name their children something that like set the bar low. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not saying don't name them chump or loser. Like just Dummy. give them a, a name that and then and then you got to go. Well, hey loser, I kind of like you... it. <laughs> That's got a ring to it. <laughs> that does. <laughs> Who's oh, there? No. Hey loser, yeah. Uh, <laughs> present. Say it. That you got to think of like who, or how other kids can make fun of that name. You know what right. I mean? Right. You do. You do have to you run really it through to. the ringer. Mm-hmm. You have to call up all your friends and say, just roast my kid's name before it's yeah. born. Yeah. Right. Just to see what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do that with your, with your name yet? Yeah. 
You want have us I to done re- it with my uh, with our name, Bo? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're we're thinking B E A U, and who mm-hmm. knows? Maybe that'll change uh, when we meet, and we're like, "This is not a bow. This is a champ." Sorry, <laughs> right? It is Bo uh, champ. But no, I, yeah. I I have it. How would you guys roast that that name, Bo? Bo, Bo, uh-huh. Bo, mm-hmm. Bo, the fucking loser. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Dude. yeah. I guess any. Name I mean, could, that's pretty yeah. easy. Yeah, I mean, that's the low hanging fruit. Small right. dick, Bo. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bo yep. don't know. Um, Bo don't. Bo don't know. That's a good one. I mean, you could just be like, what are you, Donatello's weapon of choice, you fucking idiot? Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's kind of cool, though. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess that name does rock. So yeah. oh, good, good Hey, plan. where's Arrow, you fucking loser? <laughs> where's Arrow? <laughs> yeah. Durs's, um, yeah. Durs's did. Well, the, the, Durs is good because these are. Hey, Bo, why don't you go tie something? Yeah. Hey, you, these are all good. Like third. Why don't you go sit on the hood of a Mercedes, you bitch? Like a like a Christmas bow. Okay. Yeah. He caps them all with just then saying like "fucking you bitch. idiot, you stupid bitch." <laughs> so, well, because I need them to know that it's 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 a negative thing. Well, these are these are this is important because these are really good like third grade slams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like where's yeah. Arrow? And then it and then kids are like going like. Yeah, that's really fucked up. That's the kind of shit that will break your spirit as a child. Right. You'd be yeah. like, whoa. Yeah, and you're like, where's Arrow? And you're like, oh, that really hurt. <laughs> yeah, and then someone goes, hey, dude, don't knock Bo. And then like, oh, that's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. I guess uh, you knock an arrow. I don't know. And then Bo comes home. He's like, dad, why did you name me that? They yeah. said, where's my arrow, you fucking asshole? <laughs> They said, where's Arrow? And you're like, yeah, where is Arrow? Arrow would be a tight friend for you to have. That'd be sick. And that's when Adam rolls his sleeve up and shows him the tattoo of an arrow. And he goes, mm-hmm. I've I'm always right been here. I'm right here, son. I'm Arrow. And now and he's like, fire fucking- away, fire away. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Dude, imagine if uh, like. He's like, I'm sorry, you planned this whole thing yeah. out? Adam has to get all these things tattooed on his body. So he said, they said, I'm a tie. Where's tie? I'm a bow tie. And you're like, it's right here. And you have a bow tie. It's right here, son. It's right here. You've got the tattoo. It's right here. Tie me away. Tie me away. Tie me away. (laughs) Wait, did you just have whoever, Sia, whoever saying that, re-record that song? (laughs) Sia got out here. Damn, dude. Uh, I do. I I mean, whoever starred in the television show Arrow, yeah. if his son isn't Bo, and then this is the long con he's playing on his son for when someone finally says, well, where's Arrow? Right. Yeah. And you're like, he's my dad. He's my father. Mm-hmm. And you're like, ah, that kid who punked him. It's like I'm not punked now. I'm punked. Yeah, yeah. Which sucks. Yeah. Or when I like uh, show it to my kids graduation <laughs> and like fall <laughs> off stage trying to like, high five them, and everyone's like, you know, he was on workaholics, and somebody goes, more like alcoholics. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then my, that's actually I feel. And then and then we're like, it's <laughs> it's damn it's January. Damn January. <laughs> it's damn. It's I'm Blake's damp. birthday weekend. <laughs> It's up, damp. I'm not drunk. I'm damn. Fuck you. I'm peeling one off for my homie Blake. <laughs> Blake's turning 47. That's a huge one. That's a huge one. 57. Um, when is your birthday, Blake? What month? March. Hello. Oh, that's a pretty good name for a kid. Why don't you march <laughs> off that fucking cliff, bitch? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Isn't Kyle's uh, literally in a few days? I think Kyle's is the 23rd of this month, correct? Freaking see ya. Your guess is as good as mine. That's right. One, two, three. No, you're right. It's yeah. His birthday is one, two, three. God, you going to peel one off for your guy? Or... Yeah, one, two, <laughs> three. Yeah, man. Three. Hey, so man. Our sober friend, go. Kyle, we got to peel one off for him. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we all. I mean, it's a big one. That's his 40th. Holy shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta call. We gotta call him mm. really drunk. He he will love that. And yeah, just say we're doing this for him. He's just eating a yeah. salad at home. There's a time difference in Toronto, so it's just six a.m. We're like, <laughs> ah! he's on set. <laughs> he's up. Hey, uh, I'm on set. Yeah, he's at work. We're like, let me talk to the vampires. Let me talk to the vampires. <laughs> Why have I not been cast, Kyle? <laughs> Kyle, 
make me a werewolf, dude. I'd be a really good werewolf. I'd be so good. You would actually make a great Kyle, werewolf. what is that show about? <laughs> There's no way to tell. You got to watch it. You got to watch it, but come on. You got to watch what it. What is that? I know I do. Did, that, did it get um, nominated for an Emmy this year or was that? Remember what? I feel like when we first started the pod. I didn't hear about it, so I don't think so. Because Kyle wouldn't shut the yeah. fuck up about it. Kyle didn't, yeah, did not <laughs> shut up about it. Son of a bitch. I don't know. I'm going to Emmys. When when they were nominated, he t- we t- remember we had to talk. We had to really care about the Emmys that year, and really we talked yeah. about the Emmys like a lot for like a month afterwards. Yeah, and he met the Fonz or something, right? Did, and like yes. fucking ate shit. Yes. Did you guys uh watch the Emmys? I went to like an Emmys before party, which was very fun. I know, dude. I didn't get an invite this year. Keep it damp. No, you did. I talked yeah, with Isaac. He said that you got it. And he, he was huh? like, he had it. I told him. Huh? So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I. Oh, oh, Isaac. <laughs> no. Blake, you weren't, you weren't invited. <laughs> yeah. uh, Blake, you weren't invited. But Anders, but Anders was. Hey, hey, Isaac. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I believe he was. He's uh, Isaac goes, I, yes. Did we send you an invite? No, you didn't. You did. We sent you an invite. An- did we send you an invite? God, this is our this is our manager. <laughs> never got it. You know, do- Isaac's damp. Isaac, Isaac, do you know why I know I never got the invite? How's that? Because I would have gone because it's yeah. like the best fucking party of the year. <laughs> it's a super fun I'm party. Drunk now. And I was saying I was uh, when I was there with Chloe, I'm like, it's cool that I guess we're just old enough. That I felt like, and all the comedy people show up to it because we don't get invited to anything. So this is the one party that you actually get invited to. Yeah, they're like, welcome. It was cool. I felt like I knew like 70% of all the people there. It was really fun. The last email I have regarding the evening before is from 2022. Oh. I just want to party. That's not this year, Isaac. Uh Huh. Yeah. Well, I would have loved to have had you there. I'm not heated, but like I'm peeved. Oh yeah, yeah. Peeved, I'd be sure. I'm a little this. peeved because yeah. a lot goes on on those weekends. If you're not invited to a party or nominated, you're a true loser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're drinking blood by yourself. You know, <laughs> you, you want to be out there peeling one you're, off. You're at home with your blood bag. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck at home drinking blood by myself, <laughs> watching the Emmys. It's fucked. Dude. And I like, and I got an invite to an Apple party because of Monarch, and I was like, yeah, yeah I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not gonna go to any parties. But I probably would have been like, well, damn, I did the dry cleaning. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Look at this. You were right. It was the Apple Plus party. Okay. So I wasn't oh. invited. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Cause he I I because I remember I asked you guys, are you guys going to this party? You guys were like, No, we weren't invited. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, huh. And then I talk with Isaac and I go, yo, get the boys invited. And mm-hmm. he goes, Anders is invited. Mm-hmm. And and there's nothing we can do for Blake. <laughs> and then he's like, and I R- RSVP'd him. And then I go, what about Blake? And he's like, <laughs> well, yeah. Why is he not invited? And then we sang the song. <laughs> no, there's nothing I can do. But, but I mean, but I think there's been years. There's been years when I when I was like <laughs> inactive or whatever, where I didn't get an invite. And then yeah. this year, I guess, you know, having the number one show on Apple freaking TV. You're on a show. You're on a show. Yeah. Picked up for season two, right? Yeah. Has it been? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's official, but oof. Yeah, and the reason I was uh, uh, invited is because of gemstones. I'm sure. So yes, yeah. gemstones Fucking and then some. Come on, they gemstones need- been nominated ever for an Emmy. It hasn't. It's so fucking stupid. No, dude. Um, anything that I've ever been in. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Uh, has not been nominated. As, as soon as right. I get near a uh, a project. The stank mm-hmm. gets on it. <laughs> mm-hmm. The flies. When I joined Modern Modern Fam- Family, won the Emmy, won the Emmy yeah. every year right. until the season that I got there. Never, won again. never won again, dude. <laughs> what poison? <laughs> never won again. You kidding me? Oh, no more. They won, they won like dried six. Up? They yeah. won six years in a row and yeah. tied 
Frazier for like the most winning is mm-hmm. program of all time. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at that! Wow! Look at that! He's wearing a <laughs> Frazier T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, and then the second I got there, they dried right yeah. up. Damn, yeah. dude, that's crazy. But uh, and also, <sighs> the, the McBride was like, "Yeah, none of our shit ever gets nominated." Yeah, they don't. Yeah, which is bizarre. Insane. It's so weird. Was even Eastbound never nominated when it no, kind no, of was no, like, no. "Oh, what's this new fancy well, comedy?" And also, uh, it's like one of the funniest shows ever. Well, yeah. it's because it's too funny. It's too like yeah. And it's same with Workaholics yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. They've yeah. never been nominated, so it's like that's insane. That's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And they made a joke of it. I did. I did watch it like two a day or two after or maybe i watched half of it that night um but i did see the sunny guys being like kind of weird and by the way it is kind of weird like i guess they can joke about it but at the same time like if they're not nominated who's nominated i know well i mean the bear won and no i really like that show it's a great show i really really like it it's a very good show it's not i mean it's something else we have to call comedy something else then because that isn't a comedy it's no. very not a comedy. There's funny moments, no. but it's yes. not a comedy. I, the Evan Moss guy or whatever his name is makes me laugh very hard, but it is yeah. not a comedy. There's funny yeah. people in it, and there's very funny moments, but it's, for the most part, like Always Sunny in Philadelphia is a comedy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's what they're doing. They're, they're mm-hmm. The whole episode is to make mm-hmm. you laugh. Yeah, so. Gemstones, too. Gemstones is fucking hilarious. It's not a funny... I actually feel like the bear yeah, is yeah. so good at drama, and when it tries to do comedy, it kind of is like, huh? It like comes to a screeching halt for me, where I'm like, you guys just broke the tone or whatever. It's it's way more dramatic. I'm like, it should be in the drama. It's best. Yeah, but then you get then they would have to go up against fucking Succession, and that one's a that's a tight drama but that's a funny show too like why isn't that a comedy well it, i mean it comes down to a half hour hour long right like that's oh, the, yeah, yeah. that's the genesis of this all okay yeah. that's um, weird it is weird. weird so if it's 30 minutes it's funny if it's an hour it's a drama right i mean so they've been nominated for creative arts emmys which by the way i do i do not know the difference uh, they were nominated for stunts against us i believe and they we both uh-huh. lost to like Super super ninjas. Yeah. I'm pissed now. Yeah. We were nominated for a stunt, which was tight. Uh, but uh, I, what is the difference, Anders? What is the difference between the Emmys and the Creative Arts Emmys? Well, as Cat Williams said, one's a fucking full of plants. And uh, no, the creative, it's like the more niche ones that don't need to be televised, right? Like, I think editors and like... So, but that's what... Uh, Tim and Tim Robinson and Sam won. They won just, like yeah. best guest star on something, which I guess didn't believe a comedy on a comedy. They don't air that on the actual. I mean, so they do it at the creative arts. I mean, right. Theater. And then t- I think Tim won for what best short, a uh, short form or like sketch comedy, short sketch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Things that well, like well, don't get the big numbers, like best writer, best director, best uh, actor, best supporting actor. Yeah. Okay. In a motion picture or streaming watch <laughs> program, yeah. or on your phone. A lot of a lot of words. Yeah. All the words. So much. Um, well, that's cool. That and that's what I like about this is important. It's just kind of a learning process. I learned that zodiac means. <laughs> we learn about our industry. Like uh, you lose all the horoscope stuff. Like yes. Scorpios and Capricorns yeah. and that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Now I know oh, yes. that that's. I, I learned that my manager has no idea what's going on. <laughs> he doesn't have your email. He's, he's no, he never does. He does it. He does not know. He's sending emails to an old account. We did. We sent you an invite and RSVP for you. And you're mm-hmm. right. It was Apple Plus reception. Yeah. yeah. I like getting uh, uh, weird with Kyle. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet that's what happened. Hey, play some uh, play some Isaac drops. Those are my faves. Yeah, where the hell are those? Where did I hide those? What's the one he says about me? It's not great. I think it's the worst. That's one that can go. Yeah. Punk rock, yeah. getting radical. I don't I like, like you guys telling me to show my tits. He has okay. a really beautiful voice. Yeah, he does. Drinking with Adam's always fun. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> yours. Dirt. Drinking with that. Well, <laughs> you know why uh, I do like when I do Isaac. I do a short, you know, short short cadence and like kind of a gravelly. Uh, just because it's more fun than his voice, like his mm-hmm. voice, you hear it now, and you're like, 
it's kind of bitchy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like mm-hmm. a little bitchy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe well, play another one uh, just so we can really uh, yeah, dive into his more voice. like no sack. I think yeah, that's all like of them. No I like getting uh, weird with Kyle. <laughs> Well, what, what he doesn't he say one uh, about Andres? I'm looking. For I it. thought he, he did, does. and because we heard, I heard it in like well, a live show, and I was like, "That's not that good." He says one thing about each of us, so I mm-hmm. w- hope he's. <laughs> he says he likes drinking with me, likes getting radical with you. Mm-hmm. You know what, what did he say about Durs? And then Jersey just skips over. <laughs> There's he's no like, Durs, I like sending him emails for the <laughs> night before the evening party. What is his name again? I like <laughs> collecting a fucking percent off of his checks. <laughs> I bet that's what I, like. <laughs> I think you and Isaac have some beef, dude. He likes talking about water polo with hers. That's pretty cool. Didn't we do it in Oakland? <laughs> also, like Isaac's, like we're zooming. He's on it, and it uses his wife's name as like the <laughs> fucking badge or whatever. You're like, what? Yeah, it's like why? Can we, we change that? To- <laughs> yeah, he's a professional. I mean, no, he's our manager, and his he professionally uses zoom all the time the fact mm-hmm. that it doesn't say his name and it says his wife's name makes me love him even more isaac <laughs> i love you buddy on brand i love it you're a real yeah. goof troop uh, speaking of brand zoa energy drink it's a better buzz <laughs> you're a real goof troop and you are uh, you never had it so good. um adam how how was the night before party was it yeah was, was it fun? like because it's a pretty like heads on swivels people just kind of seeing who's there and then at some point, the dance people start dancing. Mm. That Adam is the dance person. It was, uh, I was not, I didn't really dance. It was a lot of standing around mm-hmm. in nice suits and gowns and mm-hmm. uh, drinking. Uh, I, I kept it pretty damp, though. I had five <laughs> drinks over the course of four hours. So that's okay. not a lot. That's yeah. not a lot. And we're saying dance is a bagel is like not, it's just damp. It's not that wet. Damp, damp is you're drinking. Yeah, you're drinking, but you're not getting wet. That, that's yeah. what I was saying at Sam's party. I'm like, Blake, that was not damp. You got wet. Yeah, you got pretty wet. You were soaking. You were sopping wet, bud. <laughs> soaked. My man was soaked. He was, he was soaking. But when you span it out over the last 18 days, it, it's a damp because uh-huh. it's so it's a real, yeah. real. <laughs> You had to ring it. <laughs> oh, sure, sure, sure. So you haven't you haven't <laughs> drank before or since this entire no, month. No, you, I've been I've been good. Wait, wait a second. You haven't drank at all since the Sam's birthday party. Ain't no way. There was one night on the <laughs> on the fourth when my buddy Adam came into town and we okay. did have two margaritas at Mexican food. But other than that, on the fourth, like right out of the gate of dry January. <laughs> I I made it four days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. You had to peel one off for your boy, huh? Dude, I never see the guy. He never comes to LA. Yeah. He's in yeah, he's in town. You gotta peel one off. I know. I just I would just tell you that like everyone is understanding. If you're doing a thing, nobody really cares if you're not gonna like have a margarita with them. I no, it's not about that. It's like I want to have a margarita with my boy. It's not Yeah, margaritas rock. Of course you do. Of we we wanna do that all the time. But then the point of I don't know when that opportunity is gonna happen again. Then why are you even saying you're gonna do a dry January? Why don't you just well, do a, was, tw- it, a 2024 it, peel one off when I got to peel one off? Yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll rebrand. Yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> it, it, he just, had yeah. good intentions. He had good intentions. Thank you. And then when it's over on the 4th, just <laughs> cut I'll, it out. Well, then he pivoted. I'm with I'm. I have your back here, uh, Blake. Thank then you. Then he pivoted right away. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> He he didn't stick to well. It's dry starting now. He goes. You know what? It's Thank gonna you. be damp. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. It's not gonna be a, a regular bangerang. Uh-huh. Yes. I am gonna. I am gonna pull the reins back some of the nights. I'm reeling it back. Mm-hmm. But every once in a while, I might go out, have a couple, try uh-huh. not to get blackout. Get home. <laughs> try not. I'm drunk now. <laughs> have a nightcap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's that bad. No, put, I've been put one on the nightstand for so when I wake up in the morning, I can have a little dog hair of the dog that bitch. Yeah. yeah, if I wake up with the night terrors, it puts daddy back to bed. That's oh all God. I need. Just yeah. need my little. It, sto- it stops nightmare. the shaking. 
It stopped. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta perform surgery tonight, baby. <laughs> Woo! I like it. No, it's been nice. I've been really enjoying it. I Don't you I, sew your lips to a beer. <laughs> I've been enjoying it. It feels good. So what are you doing in instead? Are you um, cause usually when I go, you Dude. know what, I'm not gonna drink for a little while. Then I become a, a true stoner. Then mm. I'm like, I'm like, ooh, what them gummies do? And then I'm like, uh oh, uh, how many joints is too many joints to smoke in one ooh. day? Free needle on the sidewalk. Mine's now. Yeah, yeah. Start hitting the yeah, start that's... hitting the hard stuff. No, it's mine's now. Yeah. What what is this? What is this random pill I found on a, a floor of a Walmart? Mm. Mm. Ooh, a pill. Maybe. It... <laughs> Ooh, a pill. Uh, no, you know what I've... Num, num, num. You know what I have noticed? When I don't drink, I'm very hungry. I snack a ton. Oh. I eat way more. So I've been buying hella chips. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I was waiting for something better. I... I see clearly. I, I, I speak to my children. I remember all the capitals of every state. <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh my God! Uh, Blake doesn't uh, eat a lot, so he usually fills that with beer. Usually, mm. he gets his calorie for one of his meals from. <laughs> no, you. I eat just the same as everybody else. What is? No, you don't, Blake. Blake, that is not true. I I drink because I'm unhappy. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> On tour, you were like, "Oh my God, we're eating again." It's like, yeah, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, dinner, dude. It's really I'm drunk now. No. You guys eat so much meat. It's fucking crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. I can't keep up with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we eat three times a day. I am not eating like steak every meal, you know, but I remember, uh, you know, but and then you're you're like, we're at Sonic. You're like, you have your your beers are your are your meal for one mm -hmm. of the meals. Yeah. I, I eat coffee just... cake. You <laughs> drink MGD. So so I understand now that you're not. <laughs> drinking you gotta you gotta find those calories somewhere yes i do i do consider the calories of beer so if i know yeah. that i'm like having some beers i'm probably not going to eat as large of a lunch or have you know really? a steak sandwich yeah yeah see i go the opposite i'm like i need to have a nice base to yes. soak up all this booze that mm -hmm. uh that i'm gonna have sure yeah yeah that's that what gets i me. do and maybe that's, that's why i'm morbidly obese now i i consider <laughs> I consider considering, <laughs> and then okay, and then you don't. Pizza, I think pizza. I think about, and then I just go. Yeah. Even when yeah, we were on I tour, like that. we were having those like two a.m. fourth meal, fourth meal. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't do that. Like those nighttime pizza slices that are so good. It's just delicious. It yeah. is fun to eat that late at night. But well, I don't. I don't do really do that now either. But that was a. Just so we time. could hang, it's so we could hang out a little longer. Yeah, that yeah. was tourgasm. You know? Yeah, that was straight up tourgasm. We were just getting tourgasm. I'm Gary Goldman. Who are you in tourgasm? <laughs> I don't know. Is he having a resurgence? I yeah, keep getting got... videos sent of him, and I'm like, from tourgasm. Oh, well, I haven't pizza. gotten any videos sent my way, but uh, yeah, I think he has an H. Not like from people, like in the algorithm. He has an mm. HBO um, special right now. Oh. Mm. I think he talks about, he's like really open. You know how like now you can't just be really funny? Yeah. You have to, you had, you're like you're. I, I know I can't. <laughs> it's impossible. I can't just be funny. You have to talk about like a thing that happened to you in your yeah. stand-up special. It can't yeah. just be funny. You have to be like, and also I'm battling with depression or whatever. And I think right. that's what he's, um, I think. Right. Hey, I know we're laughing, but uh, the reason I'm funny is because. Um, I'm actually really sad. Have you seen so. the Jim Caviezel movie? Yeah. yeah. I'm now out I, here sucking I, penis. I can't stop <laughs> eating babies. <laughs> was that uh, Cat Williams? And that was. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Fucking yeah. classic. Yeah. Can we get it one more time? Let it wash over me. Dude, people people were, after the oh. last podcast, people were like, oh, I get it. Adam doesn't like Cat Williams. And I just want to let it be known. I think Cat Williams is hilarious. Yeah, he's the best. I think he's so funny. I think why he thinks his career isn't where it is is the wrong way to think about it. Mm. I think. Mm. He did it to himself, even though he is super funny. I think if he would have showed up on time more often, he would have still been, in, uh, you know, in uh, 
people, we would still be talking about him all the time. Right. You're a monster. Love yeah, you, him. You Super him. funny. I hate him. Yeah. I hate him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I want him to come out with a new special. I bet it yeah. would be fucking hilarious. The guy's yeah. great. The Emmys added a um a stand up award, a, right? A Cat Williams section. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they uh, gave the st- <laughs> a Cat Williams lifetime achievement. I mean, award. if there was a Cat Williams award, yeah, it's it's in memorial. You're like, but he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. Uh, they're like, he's dead to us. He is dead to us. <laughs> it would be kind of. If there was a Cat Williams Award for like the most nonconformist to the industry yeah. person of the year, we were just like, well, they had a, a wild ass year. Yeah, Shia yeah. LaBeouf, right? Yeah, <laughs> and and we would we would hear about all of those actors and all the comedians for like three or four years, and and then by the fifth year, it's like some guy that sh- that you don't even know. You're like, yeah, like, huh? Yeah, no, homeless Tony, <laughs> and yeah. it's just or- some guy just like hammering a trash can and you're like my god uh yeah it's on beat for his work with poop puppets (laughs) (laughs) Uh, oh my god oh my god (laughs) oh my god it's us again i'm not out here fucking disaster my guy oh wait see speaking of penis and speaking of your disaster my guy blake i saw you finished the curse i gotta finish it it, it's a good it's a good finish i loved it i thought that that show was was fantastic. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. All I know is uh, that's a good way. So it's Jim Caviezel, and it is. <laughs> that's a good way to go into it because it just is fun to like yeah. not know anything and kind of. I don't. I didn't know anything when I watched the pilot. Also, I just and we've maybe covered this. I'm, I don't watch trailers of things that I think I want to go see. Because yeah. I don't want to know anything. And I know from being on our side of the business that they say, put everything you can legally put from your movie or your show in the trailer. Yes. Even if it's like the best bit that reveals whatever. Yes. Just put in the trailer to get the butts in the seats, which I hate. Yeah, that does suck. Totally. You'd be like, you're like, that obviously is the very end of the movie. You right. just showed it in the trailer because yeah. that explosion is the budget right there. Right. Yeah. And I think yeah. we've covered that it happened. It, there's a movie for me. Where I was like, I'm done. I'm fucking done. It was like, I think Terminator Salvation with Christian Bale. Or no, with the one with the dude from Avatar who like finds out halfway through the movie that he's a Terminator. Like he thought he was just like a guy. And then like they show his guts are all like gears and fucking wires. And I'm like, Uh, that would have been cool to experience. Like (laughs) fucking what? I love that idea. That's great. Dude, I'm sorry that happened to you, dude. That sucks. Yeah. 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 That sucks. Sorry about that. Uh, are there any takebacks, any apologies, any epic slams? Mm. I'd like to epic slam Kyle for not being here. I wish uh, he could have made that work, but uh, he's eating babies, apparently. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, what We're the not hell? sure if he is or isn't. So. Freaking see ya. I mean, um, we gave a lot of really epic slams to Bo, but now I'd like to uplift him. We can't yeah. wait to get you here, buddy. Adam, Ooh. you're about to be a daddy. This is gonna be literally any week now like uh yep. we, you know we're uh with work stuff like people are like hey can you do this uh on that on the week of the the of the 15th of when i'm having the baby like mm-hmm. that week and i'm like i don't think i should be anywhere doing anything i think i need to be that's close right in yeah. case. <laughs> i do yeah. like that you consider you're like i probably shouldn't right <laughs> Yeah, well, I run it past close. She's like, ah, it'll probably be fine. And I'm like, I don't know. She's testing you, dude. Yeah. She's, when she goes in, she'd, it'll probably be fine. <laughs> that means no. <laughs> She's like leaning in going, this is the part where you go, is it? Nah. I'm- no, I, uh, so, so I'm, I'm obviously, I'm going to stick around. Uh, yeah. yeah. Even just though the Super down. Bowl. It, it you have- were just joking. Yeah. <laughs> the Super Bowl is right there. <laughs> In Las Vegas, <laughs> I could be at the Super Bowl, but yeah, no, I'll just. It's a quick, it's a quick flight, uh, but yeah, no, I'll stick around. I'll stick around. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll be. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it local. Yeah, It'd yeah, be yeah, cool yeah. to have the baby born in Vegas. <laughs> I, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, we sure, can, that'd be fine. See. That'd be all right. Yeah. I see it. All right. Okay. No champ. Okay. Right. No. I guess we're not naming him champ. Okay. All right. Okay. And that's on you. But that's, that's your fine. call. Okay. Bo, it <laughs> is. Uh yeah, very excited. Thank you, Blakey. Yeah, I'm excited uh, for you, dude. Very Can't wait. Excited. I'm more excited. That's gonna be cute. 
You know, yeah, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I just want you to know I I know there's no way in hell well, that he's more excited than I am. Don't get too excited, oh. dude. Chill oh, out, man. Yeah. I love There's children I'm... more than you. I have more kids than you. <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't say that. Well, <laughs> quit saying that. Quit saying that. The way you're saying it. If you like kids, if you have, if you like kids so much, why don't you have as many as I do? That's all. <laughs> That's true. That is yeah. true. So, but I can still do it. I didn't. I haven't tied my tubes yet. So, <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Let me take. Come over here and check, bitch. <laughs> I could, I could see, I could see Blake having like a sixty-year-old kid, mm-hmm. just like an, a whoopsies, and you're like, oh, huh. <laughs> you're saying a kid when I'm sixty, or I adopt a sixty-year-old man. <laughs> Yeah, when you're 60. Yeah, he just said Adam divine language for you know what. A kid when you're 60, not a six year old kid. You know what he's saying. <laughs> because I will adopt a 60 year old tomorrow. That sounds cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a dad. What is there an age limit to when you can be adopted? It's got to be 18, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a great question. How old? Of when what? You can adopt? Yeah, you yeah. can adopt an adult. Why not? Once. That's fucking cool. Why aren't we doing that all the time? What if the adult has like needs, like special needs type stuff? Oh, maybe then. Yeah. If you have special needs and then both your parents explode in a fire, sure. Can someone adopt you? Uh, yeah, I think I think someone could just step in and take care of you. I don't know about a full legal of adoption. And, and then does Jim Caviezel have to save you from that adopted parent? <laughs> the adoption. Yeah, that and that's the, Holly was not gonna make it, baby. That's the movie. This is the movie. That's the movie. It is the movie, but Holly was not gonna make it. Uh, nope. I don't, promise they, you, they're not. We don't need them. And they also won't make the workaholics movie. So the Christian movie, yeah. the workaholics movie. No, not yet. Not until Paramount Plus gets bought by who knows who. Who knows? We'll who. see. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. And well, I think that's then. it. And that's okay. another episode of This, this is Important. Does this mean I love you? Zoa.